students welcome to law max channel so today we are going to see chapter 2 numbers and sequences exercise 2.5 okay the question is number 7 if 9 times 9th term is equal to the 15 times 15th term okay show that 6 times 24th term is zero so listen listen here uh, patiently and write the data okay please don't leave any data if 9 times so first what you have to write is write the given part given is what 9 times so 9 times means what 9 times 9 into what 9th term so how will you denote the term in ap this is t9 okay t9 so 9 into t9 is equal to is equal to 15 times so 15 times 15 into 15th term so 15th term how will you write t15 so 9 t9 is equal to 15 t5 this is given in the question okay using this data okay va wow. this data only you are going to show that 6 times 24th term is zero so what to show to prove what to prove or show 6 times 24th term means what t24 is equal to zero this we have to prove it using this given data okay so how to find it this is only hint given so you know the nth term of an ap formula so tn formula is what a plus n minus 1 into d a is the first term and d is the common difference they didn't give anything like uh, for a and d okay just using this hint only so a as it is d as it is okay so a is the first term and d is the common difference okay common difference same as it is okay don't because it is nothing given in the question okay so now using this formula you can use hint okay this hint so how will you write 9 into t9 how will you write ma 9 into you can open the bracket t9 so what is n here n is 9 okay wow. so n place you have to put 9 so a as it is d as it is so how will you write a plus 9 minus 1 into d Okay, close the bracket. This is equal to fifteen into here. What is t five? So t n plus what five five. So fifteen into open the bracket. A plus so five n is five, right? Uh, sorry, fifteen fifteen into t fifteen. That's what carefully you have to write equal to the fifteen times. Okay, so fifteen times fifteen is done. Okay, sorry. So a plus what is n uh, n is uh, here fifteen. So a plus fifteen minus one into d. Okay, be careful. Okay, when you write the data. Okay, so now what will happen? Nine into a plus nine minus one is what? Eight. So a plus a d is equal to fifteen into fifteen minus one is what? A plus fourteen d. So you can cross multiply inside. So nine into a nine a plus nine into a d seventy two d. Is equal to fifteen into a fifteen a plus fifteen into fourteen two hundred and ten d. Okay, now we'll bring all the like terms on one side. Okay, so nine a minus fifteen a. Okay, nine a minus fifteen a. Next we have plus seventy two d. So we are bringing this two ten d here. So it becomes minus two ten d is equal to zero. So nine a minus fifteen a is what? Minus six a. Next is seventy two d minus two ten d is what? Minus one thirty eight d. Okay, is equal to zero. So here minus is common, right? So we can divide by minus one. Okay, on both the sides. Right side it doesn't uh, uh, matter, right? Because zero is there. Zero divided by minus one is zero only. Okay. So minus six a by minus one is what? Minus minus will get cancelled, so you will get six a. Minus the one thirty eight d by minus one is what? Minus minus will get cancelled, so it becomes plus one thirty eight d is equal to zero. Okay, so zero. So now when you take six common, okay, here it goes. You can check this one thirty eight. So it is a 
uh, it is divisible by 2 because the ones place ends with 8 and you can check it for 3 also when you add 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 8 12 so 12 is a uh, factor of 3 right so we can how will you write so 6 common so a plus a plus what what will come here 2 6 are 12 6 3 6 are 18 so a plus 23 d is equal to 0 correct huh? so here we can easily check 138 is divisible by 6 or not because 6 we can take it as common right so when you check with 2 it is okay when you check with 3 how will you check 1 plus 3 add the digits 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 8 12 12 comes in 3 table right so definitely it is divisible by 3 so uh, so when 2 and 3 are checked the divisibility rule is what when it is divisible by 2 and 3 it is also divisible by 3 okay uh, it is also divisible by 6 sorry okay when it is divisible by 2 and 3 okay 2 and 3 then we can say that then a given number is divisible by 6 okay you have learned in smaller classes so you can make use of it okay so 6 a plus 23d is equal to 0 see look at this a plus so we can replace T24 here. So, because A plus 24 minus 1 into D is nothing but T24. So, T24 is equal to 0. So, hence proved it. Okay. So, carefully you have to move here. So, here 6 is common. We have taken 6 outside. So, we finish the sum. Okay. Using the given hint only, we are finishing the sum. Thank you, children. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel.